get different messages from speeches. You thought that speech was about hearing protection. All I could think of was Gary has a motorcycle and he drives a convertible and he goes to wild rock concerts. Sounds like a big life crisis to me. <laughs> I never knew. The title of my speech is Be an Effective Contestant. Who knows what our next meeting is? Terry. Humor speech contest. And evaluation contest. And who won't be at the next contest? Terry. Me and Danielle. And the reason why is? We're hiking half dome. See, Ooh. best excuse I've ever heard <laughs> for missing a contest. They are hiking half dome in Yosemite. Mm. <coughs> so we're gonna all join you and it's gonna be a very lonely contest. <laughs> <laughs> the topic is be an effective contestant. You have before you copies of the actual judges' ballots mm -hmm. that are used in a contest. A lot of people, a lot of Toastmasters real, even, do not realize that there's an actual ballot that is used to judge. I think it's all subjective, but we do our very best as Toastmasters judges to try to make it as fair as we can, given the fact that judging a speech is a naturally object, excuse me, subjective evaluation. And as you can see, there are a variety of criteria. I'm going to briefly talk about a couple of the criteria on each one, starting with the humorous speech ballot. Now, will someone please tell me, if you look at the top, not top, but left-hand corner, there is a vertical word that says content. You find that vertical word content? Jay, how many points are right under that content? That's either 55 or five and five. It is 55 <laughs> points is correct. I don't even know where we are, where are we? Uh, and of that, look to your left and see that audience response. See where it says audience response at the bottom of the content? Now, if you look for an excellent score for audience response, what's the maximum you could get for audience response? 15 points is the correct answer. Ding, 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 you win. Basically, that's the laughter. That is the laughter judge that we are using. The reason I stress that so much is the critical point to remember about humorous speech is it has to be a speech. It can't just be a comedy routine. Almost all the rest of this ballot is identical to what we used to judge the international speech contest. But you do have to be funny. That's the whole idea of a humorous speech. You do have to have some humor. And my big tip for you in the humorous speech contest is this. Margie, you're competing. And my tip for you and everybody competing is keep your speeches of course, it's the same time frame, five to seven minutes, as an international speech. But consider this. Suppose you come here with a speech that you think is going to get about 11 laughs. Now, subjectively, if you give a full seven-minute speech, those 11 laughs are going to drift over that whole 11 minutes. But if you keep that speech tighter, if you work hard to get rid of extraneous material, and you bring that same speech in at five and a quarter minutes, five and a half minutes, you're getting about two laughs a minute. The perception in the judge's mind is, that's a much funnier speech than the same number of laughs over seven or seven and a half minutes. So in humor speech contests, look hard at getting rid of any material that keeps you between your important laugh lines and bring it in tight and you have a much better chance of winning. Now, well, let's go to the evaluation contest. But first let me ask, any questions about humor speech contest? Keep it tight, keep them laughing, but remember it's a speech. Evaluation contest. If you look at that ballot, and you look at the bottom left-hand corner of that ballot, you will see a category called summation. Patty, please tell me how many points the summation Summation is very, very important, 15. and that is about 30, 15%. 15%. Sorry, 15, 15 points. points. So that is 15%, so it's, it's 100 points. That is correct. <laughs> let, let me ask you, Anon, could you probably win an evaluation contest if you threw away 15% of the judging criteria? 
No, because you're a math guy, right? <laughs> What's the difference? Anyway, the answer is no, you can't. I have won more evaluation contest on the strength of a good summation than any other technique. And I don't play it cute and fancy. I don't even use words like to wrap up, to bring this to a conclusion. I say, to summarize my evaluation, then I do a brief synopsis of the points that I covered, conclude with a call for can't wait to see your next speech or fabulous speech or something and wrap it up. What you're telling the judges is, get ready to give me my 15 points. If you see a contestant that just trails off without a summation, as a judge, you're looking, wow, that was a great evaluation, but I got a big donut in the summation, and it's right here on the ballot staring you in the face. So that's my big tip. If you add a summation, make sure you have a summation to your evaluation. More often than not, you're going to win those contests. Any questions about the evaluation ballot? No is the correct answer. <laughs> We are fortunate because we have a full house of contestants, four and four. This is going to be a fun contest on the 11th. Danielle, Terry, we're going to miss you, but we should have a lot of fun, fun speeches, great evaluations, and we pay monetary prizes. So if you've been worried about making that mortgage payment this month, <laughs> this is your chance. Madam Toastman.